one of Bonga guests, maybe say understand a lot about the Nigerian um, business landscape and as regards um, Nigerian business startups, um, um, the creative minds and all of that. Now him, maybe say understand a lot for this space. Now business lawyer, and then we they show we we one cite case study as regards Oga Sabinos, maybe say a comedian, um, in Sue, um, we take Friesland and um, in carry um, the maker Friesland's written and the makers of one major um, diary product. And also in um, Sue, um, these guys, um, UAC Foods, which are the major makers of um, 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 fast moving consumer goods with it for inside um, this country. Um, you they buy them for inside hold up majorly. In Sue, them, first Sue, um, Friesland, one billion naira. And also Sue, um, the makers of a particular sausage roll, um, um, in Sue, them, 100 million naira. Makers of the dairy product and also makers of the particular sausage roll. Um, UAC Foods and Friesland, Nai Insu, one billionaire. Why exactly Insu them? In Toxic, they use some of the major um, memes, we say in the use for one of the creative intellectual property, we've seen they use the, the, um, the promoting skit and in the use from time to time. And also, you don't go, you don't definitely, you don't trademark all those things. You don't trademark the meme, you don't also trademark the slogan, we've seen they use um, for inside. Um, the street and inside skits, we're saying they do. What do exactly business persons need to understand about these memes, about um, intellectual property rights, about make, making sure say, you trademark waiting be your own as a business person, if not product or if not service? Now, why we call this man um, Mr. Omori Ediogorari? You're very much welcome, Mr. Omori. Frank, you're getting the name. <laughs> <laughs> now, startup lawyer like, uh, and a man, we be understand here. a lot about the um, um, startup space. Um, you're very much welcome, sir. Thank you, my brother. So what exactly you need to tell Nigerians about waiting um, a call between um, um, Oga Sabinus, a popular comedian, we win AMVCA, and um, um, the makers of particular diary products we will know for inside this country, um, Friesland mm -hmm. and UAC Foods. The, that aspect, waiting Nigerians need to understand as a lawyer coming from a legal mm -hmm. point of view. Yeah, thanks, sir. You know, um, one of the times I was here, one of the things I stressed, na, the importance of having... Um, protection for yeah. your intellectual property. So if you're a creative, if you're a business person, um, it's important to protect your intellectual property. And you could either um, for in names, um, images, brand protection predominantly fall on that trademark. So let's talk about trademarks. Okay. Um, so yes, um, he was right to have trademarked his brand. But there are certain issues that have come up, and which is why we always encourage creatives, entrepreneurs, and startups to work with experts, you know, um, people who are in the field. Law is just is a lot like medicine. Um, there are different spheres, different fields, different um, specializations. And so there are lawyers who understand a particular niche a bit more than the others, you know. But while we're learned, we know, we know a little about everything. Um, so what happened was, yes, he had trademarked his brand but I think there's some naughty issues regarding the procedure or regarding the approach taken. Now, to put things in context, there are 45 classes of trademarks in Nigeria. And the position of the law is clear. Um, you are only protected under the class you trademark, right? So from the facts can that you, are can clear. Can you give us an example of maybe So you have, you, have, you have classes on, OK, let me shake a table. Yeah. You have classes, um, classes that deal with bleaching cream, bleaching cream, chemical products, mm. and all beauty and cosmetics. You have classes that have to do with construction. You have classes that have to do with financial services. You have classes that have to do with entertainment, and classes that have to do with um, um, real estate, um, classes that have to do with um, um, entertainment, advertising, okay. tech, and the likes. Right? So as a business person, as an entrepreneur, as someone who's trying to protect your intellectual property, before you rush to trademark, you first of all ask yourself, what class of trademark deals with this fair? So you don't just have a blanket trademark. You ask yourself, what class will I register this trademark and I'll get the appropriate protection? And then you find that trademark, and that's why you need an expert as okay. advice. Mm. And the expert will tell you the aspect you should trademark in, and then you go and yeah, do your trademark within that class, right? Now, but what we always advise, and this is what I advise a lot of startups, especially those in the creative space that work with me, I say to them, one blanket class, is, one class isn't enough. It's always good to have series of classes. Register your trademark in series of classes, 
that all fall within the sphere of what you're doing, right? So back to Mr. Sabinus, um, from the facts that we have seen, the trademark was done in class 36, right? Yeah. Which deals with financial services, um, financial services, insurance, banking, and all that, right? But you and I know the sphere he works in, entertainment, entertainment yeah. and at best advertising, right? So that already affects the potency of his claim. Because if he had registered it in class 35, for instance, that deals with advertising, then would have been getting a bit closer. If he had also registered it in class 41, that deals with entertainment, then would have been a bit closer. You know, but registering it in a class that is entirely off the sphere of what you're doing affects the potency of your legal claim. You know, and I think, well, we don't know what angle his lawyers would take or what approach they would take, but you know, this is just um, as, as far as it goes. You know, it's important that as a, as a business person, as someone in the entertainment space, before you trademark your brand or protect your brand, you go the appropriate way. And the appropriate way would be to ask yourself, of these 45 classes, which works best for me? There are other issues. Um, they mentioned that, okay, what he had attached is an acceptance letter, not a certificate. Um, well, the jury is still out there. You see, the process for trademarking are in different stages. Okay. First, you run a search. After you run the search, um, you submit if, you are, if, you, if you're given the go-ahead by the trademark registry. And when you submit your brand for registration, they give you what is called an, acceptance, uh, an acknowledgement letter. And the acknowledgement says, okay, we've received this and we're going to process it. Now, when they have processed it and they have found it okay, they give you what is called an acceptance, which says that your trademark has been accepted. Now, when that is accepted, the next stage is to have what we call a publication stage. You know, they publish it in the trademark journal for 60 days um, for people to object if there's any objection or the likes. And where there's no objection, they now issue you a certificate. Speaking right? of objection, uh, I was even going to come there. Um, for instance, now, you get person maybe say done, tr done already, in get a particular, um, whether a creative um, identity mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whether a product or service, mm -hmm. maybe say in, if you say, in one trademark, but if I before Sabinus don't trademark, if me I see some of all these things, we've saying they do, and I feel say this thing get potency to blow, potentials mm -hmm. to blow, mm -hmm. and I quickly go trademark and before in trademark. How how you go use um, do things like that for inside law? So the thing I have a recipe. I'm a, I'm a cook, for instance. Now we get chef chef for years. Mm -hmm. She get one special recipe. We say she they always do. I see say this recipe get tendency to blow, and I quickly go trademark and before how we say even get and trademark and. So areas like that, uh, guiding against theft and, um, and plagiarism and um, copyright. So, so here's the thing. Um, first of all, the law aids the vigilant and not the indolent. So first in time. Uh, so mm. if there's a dispute, they'll ask who has the registered trademark for ABC. First. And you show that registered trademark. Then you have the legal uh, protection. However, uh, the law also frowns at this sort of... Um, um, called, in quote, black market practice, where you already know someone has a brand, and they, because the person has not taken active legal steps, you go ahead um, in a bid to get um, registration, even though you know that you really don't own that intellectual property. Yeah. But really, that gives rise to some equitable remedies, and which is the second part of this conversation. You know, there are two claims, yeah. one for um, uh, Frisland and the other for um, the other company. Yeah, because the people they come out, they now, talk saying, no, be only Sabine get that yeah. posture. No, no, but see, say, now yeah. for that image, yeah. one thing that comes to the fore is that the law also provides some remedy to creatives who have not trademarked, who don't have, and which is called passing off, right? So where you have become established, um, something has been established as your, your, your intellectual property, your product, or your creation, uh, even though you have not taking active legal steps to register, to protect it legally. The law also gives you some leeway, some protection to um, sue on the grounds of passing off that, look, this is me, this is what I have, this is my product, mm. and even though I haven't registered it, I can show you grounds of proof that this thing belongs to me, and this fellow is passing off. Fantastic one, And uh, ripping Mr. off my intellectual property. Fantastic one, Mr. Oye, um, just one sentence. Um, how much did you say? L limited liability company if you use register 
um, trademark in just the, the financial well, and well, scope somewhere. Well, well, I can't give you a blanket figure okay. because um, the fees also include professional fees and lawyers charge, I charge yeah. a lot. Oh, okay. Some lawyers will charge less, but definitely over, over 150,000 within that range. Within you don't hear them, um, we've seen don't come out, don't text it. Just 150,000 are um, excluding the fees. We've seen you go pay um, the lawyer go help you trademark that particular product or that particular service or that particular creative identity we say you feel say you get so that you know go fall victim to inside um, a lot will happen for inside um, for, for inside the markets and make you also pay attention to, to the, the classes, classes before yes. um, going ahead to trademark anything we say you get for inside um, markets. My name now Fagbo Frank and um, you know say for year we they always give you top and top and top um, top notch stories around the world of business.